Hey folks, um, just making a quick little tutorial and um, kind of setup video on how I uh, use the Steam Deck for Guild Wars 2. So I've been working and tinkering on a custom control setup. I haven't really found anything that I like on the marketplace. Sorry for my weird phone position, but it's the only way I can record this with two hands. Um, so I, I set out to make something that worked for me. Now my Guild Wars 2 control binds are a little bit odd. I do um, 1 through 6, and then I do Q, E, um, Q, E, T, Q, E, R, T, sorry. Um, so my utilities go, are, are it, it, basically on the keyboard it makes it feel every, like everything's a little bit closer to my, my left hand. Um, so that's how I have it set up. And in order to not have to change that every time I get in the game, I wanted to make a, a setup that worked good for me. Now I do utilize the action combat um, system in Guild Wars 2 uh, when I do Steam Deck. Uh, I was back and forth on using um, the auto right click when touching the thumb, thumbstick and it worked okay, but it didn't really, wasn't really intuitive. Um, when I had to do different controls. So general overview is uh, we have our movement here. Now I opted for um, the strafe for left and right instead of the keyboard turning feeling. This keeps it from feeling like your keyboard turning, right? Which is something that is a nightmare. It does not feel good when playing an RPG. And so I opted for the strafe um, for left and right instead. I have my jump, I have my dodge, um, my interact is the Y button here, and then X is to mount. Uh, we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, when I am in combat, my left bumper here is skills, my left trigger is utilities. So I can go through my skills, and I hold left trigger and I go through my skills and I hold my left or left bumper is skills, left trigger is utilities, I can heal, do all that. And then my right bumper is my ulti or my fifth skill, depending on which one I'm holding. Um, I find that to be the most intuitive way to for me to play this. Um, so that that's just how I've configured it. Now, when I um, when I go into my mounts, it switches up. Um, so right trigger is up, left trigger is down. Um, my A button is to jump forward. B is to recharge, E is to eject, um, and X just unmounts. And right bumper does the number one skill. Um, so that's how I've configured it. Let me just show you what it looks like in Steam. Uh, oh, and also D-pad is various menus. So like I have my inventory, I can right click with the double tap or I can left click with the press. Um, then I have my character, friends list, and guild. Um, so going into Steam, this is how I have it configured. So I have my default, um, and what I had to do was have dual commands around mounting. So when I press X, it mounts and it switches to the mounts action layer. Um, for the skills and utilities, I have it on start and release, and I'll explain kind of why I ran into a problem with the hold. Um, and I also have my ultimate and my M key with a lot of extra keybinds if your class um, utilizes a lot more of the function keys, you can use them on these, these back buttons. Um, so I'm moving through my, for my skills. That goes one, two, three, four, five. And then my utilities go through them as well. Um, and then mounts 
mounts are a bit different. So for the mounts one, for any time it resulted in a dismount, I needed to remove the mounts action set in the mounts action set layer. Um, so when I press X, when I'm in mounts, it just, it removes the action set E for the eject. Um, that removes the action set and also the one skill removes the action set as well to send me um, in default uh, back to my main uh, action set. Um, there is um, what I do need to do is for like my left trackpad I need to um, set it to where Maybe a double press will um, automatically send me back to, to the default action set because there are situations where you just kind of find yourself in the wrong action set. It's been kind of impossible for me to lock that in. Um, now, the explanation behind why I use the, the start press and release press instead of the remove action set or the hold for action set as I found that like I was having bizarre scenarios in Steam Deck where I would run into um, overlapping action sets and things would sm like smash together and it ended up being really bizarre. The unfortunate thing, at least in Guild Wars 2 that I found, and maybe somebody in the comments can tell me how to fix this, is when you pick an action set in a command, it allows you to make a, a noise, like a beep, and um, and it says to display on screen, but it doesn't actually display on screen that I can see. Um, I'm also very blind, so. But I can when I turn down the game. I don't know if you can hear this, but. There's a really low beep. So that's what I'm expecting when I switch action sets. Um, you can kind of hear it, hopefully, um, but it, nothing displays on the screen, so that's kind of frustrating because I would like to be able to use that to diagnose any bugs or any problems. But as far as right now is concerned, it's pretty great. Uh, so let me just show some, some gameplay here. So pretty straightforward, just going through my skills, taking out these scalp nests. Um, I also don't weapon swap on this character a lot, um, but I definitely need to incorporate a weapon swap key. That shouldn't be too difficult though. Let's find some bad guys here. We're in a really low B area because I'm trying to do map completion. But yeah, it's fairly intuitive. This is the most intuitive I could I could get Guild Wars 2 on the Steam Deck, um, and I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, so if you have any recommendations or any suggestions, feel free to shout them out. Um, I'd be happy to hear them, and uh, hopefully this might help you. Um, if you need any additional guidance, I'm going to try and export this to the community, so you can just search for um, TJ17, and that should get you the uh, that should get you the um, the profile for my controls and then you can tweak it. Um, if I can figure out a way to link it directly uh, to you, I will in the description. Cool. That's kind of all I have. Thank you folks.